Good evening, everyone. Time for a quick weather update. It's been a pretty nice stretch of weather over the last few days, but that's about to change. We're tracking some wet weather moving in. In fact, a flash flood watch has been issued by the Weather Service. So far this evening, I'm recording this around uh, 7 o'clock or so, all the activity has been up in the mountains, moving up into central Maine as far as shower activity goes. Uh, there have been some heavier downpours, even some thunderstorms down in southern New England. The Weather Service has issued a flash flood watch. This goes into effect tomorrow morning, Aries and Green, and extends all the way until Wednesday evening. So we're looking at a two-day stretch here with the potential for flash flooding. Uh, the atmosphere is just set up in a way that any showers may hold some heavy downpours. In fact, possibly some torrential rainfall at times. It's not going to rain this entire period, though. There will be some dry hours. Notice the watch does not include the immediate coastline and also up near the Canadian border. That may change, so it bears watching. The time frame will be Tuesday and Wednesday. I still think the wettest day will probably be Wednesday, though. Here's a look back at your time lapse. Old Orchard Beach, we made it to the 80s there. Water temperature around 60, dew points in the 60s. So it was nice to jump in the ocean today if you had that opportunity. Clouds have been on the increase. This one, our Raymond's Guy Cam. It's not a time lapse. That's your uh, current look, and again, I'm recording this around 7 o'clock or so. So we've had thickening clouds. You probably have noticed that. Uh, most of this activity you see right in here is going to scoot just over southern parts of Maine. So we're going to see a lot of the shower activity right in here in the coming hours. So showers and the chance for a thunderstorm, that will become more numerous tonight and more so tomorrow. Uh, the atmosphere is pretty juicy down in here, so again, some of those showers may can hold some heavy downpours uh, during the day tomorrow and again Wednesday. Now, we're really not going to see any improvement until this cold front moves through. It's this boundary right in here, and that timing is still a little bit in question, but it looks like it will be moving through at some point late Wednesday or Wednesday night, so we're going to see some improvement hopefully by Thursday with at least partly sunny skies returning. Between now and then, though, keep the umbrella handy. There's the puddle ducky. Yeah, we're going to be bringing him out both Tuesday and Wednesday. So let's go through the timing of some of this. This is runoff of one forecast model, so take it with a grain of salt. But we're seeing that shower activity to the south. Notice uh, that moving up into southern and central portions of Maine, mostly southern Maine and mid-coast Maine probably about midnight tonight. So chance for showers, chance for a thunderstorm tonight. Uh, that will extend through tomorrow morning. There are some heavier downpours indicated by the brighter reds and oranges and yellows in here. Uh, this is early in the morning. Temps are in the 70s. Uh, dew points will be in the 60s, so it will stay muggy. If you have air conditioners, tonight will be a pretty good night to run that. Overnight lows will stay in the 60s. I will right, we'll probably get into a break at some point midday tomorrow, late morning, midday, with just a lot of clouds around. There may even be a peak of sun from time to time. And then another round of showers and thunderstorms is likely late in the day, probably late afternoon into the evening hours. And there may be some embedded downpours mixed in here, and torrential rain is possible. That is uh, outlined, of course, uh, in the, the flash flood watch, which all extends all the way into Wednesday. So the front's going to try to get through here at some point during the day Wednesday. The problem is it's such a slow-moving front that it will produce uh, showers with a chance for thunderstorms throughout pretty much the entire day Wednesday. There will probably even be a period of rainfall uh, that will extend through the uh, morning and early afternoon. This is about 4 o'clock or so. Eventually the front is starting to move out by Thursday. We'll see a welcome return to at least partly sunny skies. Still can't rule out a brief shower that day. Uh, it all depends on the uh, track and timing of the slow moving front. So Thursday and Friday will showcase some improvement and I think we'll all look forward to some sunshine during that time frame. Of course, a lot happening this weekend. Clam Festival goes on, uh, gets, gets going on Friday and extends to the weekend. A lot of towns are doing their community days as well. And I think we'll be in good shape for fireworks and that kind of thing for Friday night and again Saturday night. So the two days we need to watch, Tuesday and Wednesday. That's the way things look. We'll keep you updated. I'll have an update on Fox 23 at 10 and CBS 13 at 11. Have a nice night.